Lecture 10 Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that obscures my counsel with ignorant words? O Job, brace yourself like a warrior. I will guide you and you can express your thoughts. When I laid the foundation of the earth and determined its dimensions, the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy. Where were you then? These verses are explaining who created the earth, how vast it is and how it is set in the air. However, since people at that time could not understand it, God put it another way. The sun rises from the east of the sea and sets in the west. God shows the dawn its place. Mountains stand, the sun shines, and things are in various colours. Do you know the mysteries behind them? The heart of the wicked is dark, and the endings of oppressors will not be good. Can you sift out the wicked from the people? Do you know the boundary between the living and the dead? Do you know things in Sheol? Seasons change from autumn to winter, from cold to heat. Winds, frost, rain and snow, lightning and thunder. Do you know the laws behind them? Rivers flow, sea tides rise and fall. Plants of various types Grow and wither. Animals of various species multiply and thrive. Who is in control of all these? The sky is adorned with stars and constellations span from south to north, revolving and shifting. Do you know the laws behind them? Furthermore, who endowed intelligence and wisdom to mankind? In the animal kingdom, each species has its own characteristic. In the wilderness, unicorns and oxen, eagles and sparrows, wild donkeys and horses, peacocks and ostriches, goats and deer, tigers and lions, all act in their own ways. Oxen, bound to the furrow with a harness, serve men and load grains. Unicorns, however, cannot be tamed. Eagles soar in the high sky, seeking out praise. Sparrows, however, can only hop on the ground, searching for food. Horses can race like the wind. At the sound of the trumpet, they fearlessly ride into the battlefield without hesitation. Yet, wild donkeys can only pull a millstone for their owner. Peacocks can show their gorgeous feathers, while ostriches can only run naked. Goats and deer can only be chased by tigers and lions. Animals created by God are diverse, with inconceivable wonders. Moreover, the Lord said to Job, How wondrous are the works of the Almighty! Do you think a man can consider himself righteous before the Almighty? Then Job answered the Lord, I am lowly and ignorant. What shall I answer you? I have nothing more to say. I can only lay my hand on my mouth. Then the Lord spoke to Job out of the whirlwind, Brace yourself like a warrior. I will guide you and you can express your thoughts. Behold my power, honour and majesty, my creation, glory and splendour. Look at that behemoth which I made. He eats grass like an ox. He is extremely huge and strong. He can drink up an entire river without a problem. Yet I can tame him with my weapon. He does not attack other animals and all the wild animals can play beside him. This behemoth is a beast created by God, 
also known as the behemoth monster. The Lord continued to speak. Behold, Leviathan, created by me, has eyes like the rays of dawn, and gaze like lightning. Out of its mouth go burning flames, which can kindle coals. Out of his nostrils comes forth smoke, as from a boiling pot. His scales are tightly sealed together, like armour. His muscles are strong and tightly joined. He counts iron as straw and bronze as rotten wood. His heart is as firm as a stone. The sword that reaches him has no effect, nor does the spear or the dart or the javelin. When sharp stones are under him, he spreads himself like a threshing sledge on the mire. When he stirs up the sea, it churns like a boiling cauldron. As he glides over the deep, he leaves a shining wake like a long white hair. No creature on earth is as fearless as him. He is king over all that are proud. No matter how a valiant man seeks to capture him, it would be in vain. Only I have the weapon to tame him. He has vowed to be my eternal servant. Leviathan is also a sea monster created by God, enormous like a whale. According to God's description, it is very similar to what the Chinese refer to as the dragon, the king of the sea. The Lord continued to speak. All things in the world are created by me. Who can obstruct my will? I tame proud men, making them submit and humble themselves. I trample the wicked on the ground, destroy them, bury them in the dust, and send them to Sheol. Job, can you save yourself? Do you think you can question my judgment and decisions? How can you consider yourself wise and righteous? God did not preach general principles to Job because he knew that even if he did, Job would not understand. So, God simply showed to Job his mighty power as well as the wonders and mysteries of the world he created to make him surrender and let go of his self-righteousness. Then Job replied to the Lord, I know that you can do all things, and no purpose of yours can be thwarted. What I know about the ways of the world is superficial, and what I say about the truths of the world is shallow. My righteousness and kindness are blessed and accepted by God, but I haven't noticed my sinful thoughts such as pride, greed and selfishness. Therefore, I deserve the retribution I experience. Things created by God manifest themselves without concealment. Yet, the truth is too profound for me, which I did not know. I am really ignorant. Please hear me out and kindly guide me. My ears had heard of you, but now my eyes have seen you. Therefore, I feel really ashamed and repent in dust and ashes. After the Lord had spoken these words to Job, he turned to Eliphaz the Temanite and said, I have to rebuke you and your two friends, because the general principles you have spoken are merely heard from your ancestors. Yet you don't understand the mysteries behind them. You are just parroting. The consolation and advice you have provided did not address the point. Considering your virtue, you are not qualified to rebuke Job. Whereas my servant Job's words are far better than yours. Compared to you, Job is sincere and dares to speak his mind. This is a sign of his greater faith. He has the courage to pursue wisdom and seek the truth of things. Such courage is commendable and pleases me. So now 
Take seven bulls and seven rams, and go to my servant Job, and offer up a burnt offering for yourselves. My servant Job will pray for you, and I will accept his prayer, and not deal with you according to your folly. You should learn from Job, who is blameless. Fear God, and turn away from evil, as well as his pursuit of wisdom and quest for truth. So Eliphaz the Temanite, Bildad the Shuhite, and Zophar the Namathite did what the Lord told them, and the Lord accepted Job's prayer. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored him from his suffering and gave him twice as much as he had before. Job's brothers, sisters, and all who had known him before came and ate with him in his house. They comforted and consoled him over all the chastisement the Lord had brought upon him, and each one gave him a piece of silver and a gold ring. So the Lord blessed Job even more than before. He had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 donkeys. And he also had seven sons and three daughters. Nowhere in all the land were there found women as beautiful as Job's daughters, and their father granted them an inheritance along with their brothers. After this, Job lived 140 years. He saw his children and their children to the fourth generation. And so he died, old and full of years. Okay, that's all for the book of Job.